Turning now to a partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas to help our environment. A massive new solar plant is now open for business. Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz is officially dedicating the Ivanpah solar generating station today, praised by the Obama administration as a major landmark in the rise of solar energy. Planet Forward's Frank Sesno has more. There's a new energy craze heating up in California, solar thermal, that turns the sun's rays into enough grid-ready electricity to compete with coal. In the Mojave Desert, an hour outside of Las Vegas, sits Ivanpah. This is now the world's largest solar thermal plant. It uses the bright, hot desert sun to make steam. That steam comes down to this turbine. The turbine, in turn, drives a generator to make electricity. Nearly 200,000 mirrors follow a unique algorithm to track the sun throughout the day, reflecting onto one of three energy towers. We have all those different parts and pieces that make up a typical power plant. We just happen to be using the sun's energy to drive it. It's a five square mile facility, now fully online, and it can power more than 140,000 homes in California. NRG Solar CEO Tom Doyle says using the sun's energy instead of coal is like taking 72,000 polluting cars off the road. This is an opportunity to prove a technology and use it nationally and internationally to drive down uh, greenhouse gases. Doyle says the Mojave Desert's landscape is a perfect location, but there aren't many places like this in the U.S., so he's eyeing other spots around the world. Markets like Saudi Arabia, who have a goal for 54 gigawatts of solar projects, is an excellent market opportunity for this type of technology. At more than $2 billion, this bright source and energy collaboration is a serious investment, backed by Google and the Department of Energy, among others. It's more expensive than coal, and it doesn't generate power when the sun doesn't shine. But it's designed to deliver energy when it's needed most. The high point or the highest price point of the day is actually when this plant's performing the best. So how competitive is Ivanpah? While this technology is proven, they're facing a lot of competition from photovoltaics, whose prices have dropped 80% in just the last five years. The Golden State is getting a big boost from big solar and just maybe moving the planet forward. For Planet Forward, I'm Frank Sesno. And if you have an idea you'd like to submit, visit planetforward.org. For more environmental and sustainability news, check out Bloomberg.com sustainability.